Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Right now I'm on finviz.com and I have screened for stocks that gapped up at least 7% or more. And how did I get here? How did I do this? Well, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to make it really simple for you. Okay? So first, uh, you go to finviz.com, you go to the home page, which I'm doing right now. And uh, now what some people do, first thing in the morning, they'll click on top gainers. You know, they have a whole bunch of top gainers links here, or top losers if they want to find something that uh, gapped down a lot. You can, uh, but it's not very precise. If you want to look for something that has gapped up or down a certain percentage, uh, this is probably not the way to do it. All right. Uh, so you can go to screener, all right, and you'll automatically, probably automatically be on the descriptive tab. Uh, if not, then go to the descriptive tab. And what I like to do is I'll go to industry and then change any to stocks only. Now, if you're looking for exchange traded funds, you know, ETFs or whatever, you can click on whatever you like. But if you're looking for stocks only, then you can change industry to stocks only and this is all under the descriptive tab okay and then I will often choose to uh, have a certain average volume or higher like for example uh, let's say over 300,000 shares traded per day or more okay that's average uh, average volume it's looking at the historical average typical volume for the stock okay some people will look at the current volume the problem with that is that if it's first thing in the morning you're not going to get a lot of volume probably all right whereas the average volume will tell you the average historically so uh, you might choose to use that so I've got two filters already but let's go next to the technical tab all right that was under the descriptive tab now we're on the technical tab I clicked on that and here's where the gap part comes in all right so go to gap and then change any to whatever you like you can be very precise with this if you want to something that is gapped up at least uh, I don't know three four five six seven percent whatever or down a certain percent as well okay so just for an example let's say it's first thing in the morning and I want you know the markets open now and I want a stock that has gapped up at least eight percent or I don't know seven percent whatever you like let's make it seven all right so I changed it to up seven percent and it gave me 16 stocks altogether, all on one page, all right? Now, if you don't want to list, what you could do as the final step is to, you see how all these uh, buttons are here? You can click on the charts button right there. So I'm gonna do that right now. Click on charts, and instead of having a list, you'll have the same stocks, but here they are, all the charts on one page. So that's pretty cool. And uh, then you can actually look at the charts. Now the chart, uh, you know, it, it's kind of interesting. You can click on each chart and make them really big. Uh, sometimes it's on more than one page. Like for example, this is two pages. So if you're wondering where the rest of them are, you have to go to the bottom and click next or uh, over here also, you know, you can just click that arrow there. So there's more than one way to do it. So it's interesting how they were all on one page when it was a list, but when I do the charts, Sometimes you have to remember to, that there's more than one page sometimes, okay? So I hope this was helpful to you. And you know, if you're looking for morning gappers up or down, this is a pretty simple way to do it. Yeah, it took a few steps, but uh, you know, it really doesn't take that much effort. And if you get into the habit, then you can do this pretty quickly, okay? So uh, if you'd like more help with uh, trading or investing, I do offer coaching. My name is David Modell. You can email me for the coaching at davidmodell at gmail.com. And I want to thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.